Well, another round of PPP loans is up for grabs for small business owners in our area. CBS 12's Lena Salzbank shows us what's different this time around. There's $284 billion that will be doled out to business owners that need first and second forgivable loans. Now, business owners are likely to see some key changes when applying for this second round of the Paycheck Protection Program. The Small Business Association says there is plenty of money to go around as applicants begin applying for round two of the Paycheck Protection Program. There's plenty of time. One of the, th one of the messages we want to get out to everybody is that there's no mad rush like the first time in April. The program started accepting applications only from community lenders, which specialize in working with low-income business owners and those in areas that are underserved before expanding to more applicants. New borrowers who never received a first-time loan will be able to apply along with existing borrowers as long as they have used up all the funds from their first PPP loan. Applying for forgiveness has nothing to do with your eligibility for applying for round two, but what you do need to do is exhaust those PPP round one funds. Among other changes, PPP loans will cover additional expenses, including operation expenditures, property damage costs, supplier costs, and worker protection expenditures. That means businesses like Slash Fitness that stepped up their game and purchased partitions and sanitizing stations will be covered. But so for us, that's sprays, that's wipes, uh, that's all of the construction that's gone into creating the social distancing workout that we have here. Um, again, it, it goes, uh, it, it takes a lot more funding, I think, than people think. Austin Brock, the co-owner of Slash Fitness, says he's ready for that second round of loans. As great as it was to receive anything of the PPP, um, it, it didn't really stretch that far. And my partner Joe and I, we you know, started this business from our own bootstraps out of my garage. Uh, so we're 100% a small business. Slash Fitness lost more than 50% of its business because of the pandemic. We're back to about 55%, hovering between 55 and 60% of where we were pre-COVID. Numbers are better. We aren't anywhere close to where we were before closing. Brock says the gym has cut class sizes for social distancing purposes and he needs this money to help keep employees on payroll. Our bills are fixed costs. They're, you know, I mean, they're rent and payroll. We don't want to have to let anybody go. We want to keep supplying as, as much opportunity for our staff. All applications for this new round of PPP must be submitted by March 31st in Palm Beach County. Lena Salzbank, CBS 12 News.